evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for a much-anticipated main event. 12 rounds of heavyweight action between these two great warriors. He's making his way to the ring right now, puffing out his chest, glaring with those eyes, and taking a big stride to his destination of glory. He's on his way to the ring right now, and you can see how excited he is for this one. Lots of confidence. Opening round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. During your training career, is this the type of matchup that you liked when you had a power puncher facing another power puncher? No, I hated it. I never wanted to fight a big banger. I wanted to be the only guy in that ring that brought that to the party. Able to show you his blocking ability. Good looking counter punch. Turn fire that time. Nice block by the Giant. Comes right back at him with a left hand. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. through round number one. Teddy, most ringside experts feel that this is very much going to be a tactical fight. Yeah, both these guys throw punches like they're paying for them. And guess what? They're both cheap skates. Good block there by Big. science you see the skill he has in counter punching and you know what he's doing is taking his opponent's jab away this is great action right from the start what an opening round between these two the combo lands upstairs Seconds to go in this round. So they close out that round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, I know you watch uh, very closely how these trainers go about their business. You were under the tutelage of one of the true legends of the game, the great Customata. Yeah, I mean, I was fortunate. Quite honestly, those opportunities, situations probably don't exist anymore because we've lost a lot of those you know really great trainers and managers that boxing was their whole life i spent seven years with customato and they learned the nuts and bolts from a physical technical point of view of what's important to give to a fighter but the psychological part 
to understand the pressures that a fighter is under, the fears that a fighter deals with. And if you don't understand that, all the other things don't mean anything because you have to understand how a fighter is feeling to understand why he's behaving or not behaving a certain way. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. You know, we only show up when it's time to watch them do their thing for the fight, but they're really working at it day in and day out just to make weight. What's so tough about making weight in boxing? Well, it can weigh you down. I mean, it takes discipline. And all of a sudden, it allows you a trail of excuses because now you can start to say, well, gee, you know, I didn't do this. You know, I, I, it's the drudgery of it and it's the consistency of it. When you have to stay at a weight and you have to watch that weight, you have to balance it where you're also going to be able to have a physicality when you get in the ring. You don't want to be weak, so you want to get that right balance where you're disciplined, you get the weight down, but you don't lose that physical edge. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. shot and then commits to giving one right back <laughs> staying away from those headshots with his defense up top is underway. Lands the counter. Well-placed counter punch by the Giant. Turning fire, well done by Big. Well placed counter punch by Big. Misses his opponent's headshot. He missed with that headshot. Does it surprise you that he's not going to the body as much as he could be? Well, what surprises me is that he doesn't have the intuitiveness, you know, just, just the instinct to understand, to recognize the situation. That's part of the ability of a good fighter, to recognize what he should be doing in a certain situation. He's not seeing that. He should be going downstairs. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Carries that punch intended for the head. Use the jab. 
Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Good job on the two-punch combo by the Giant. Ten seconds to go in this round. End of the round is upon us. And if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. Here we go with the fourth round. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Wow! Biggs got to shore things up a bit there. That was a destructive counterpunch he got hit by. exactly what he brings to the game he makes you miss he makes you pay and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on comes right back at him with a left hand We've reached the one-minute mark to... Oh, an explosive headshot there. He is down. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. How about that exchange? Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Big. Gets rid of that body shot. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. <laughs> round comes to an end. Knockdown was scored in that round. So, Teddy, you're working the corner of the guy who was just on the floor. What are you telling him? You're telling him that if he's been down before, you want to actually use that for a positive. I know that sounds crazy, but you say, hey, You've been here before, you've overcome it. You want to remind them that he can get back. And then the most important thing, Joe, is you tell him why he got dropped. So when he goes out there, he's not just scared going into a dark place saying, gee, it's going to happen again. He knows he has control. And now another left. Undoubtedly, the most effective element of his entire arsenal tonight is his jab. He's so committed to fighting on the outside, and he's jabbing away beautifully. Well, Custom Auto used to tell me, Teddy, when you're in doubt, jab. Well, this fighter, 
when he's been in daddy's jab, when he's been short of selfish jab, as you said, he's made a jab fest of this all night long. Teddy, is this becoming a mental thing with him? I mean, he's not firing off the big power punches. I gotta wonder why. You know, that's a good question. Sometimes a guy is making a solemn agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what had come back at him. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, he just did a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming right, his on, way. On, he does out, not look out. good He's at all. Here. <laughs> Blocks away that head shot. Teddy, he went from being on the edge of the cliff to now climbing back up the mountain. Well, you know, that's where you'd want to know if a guy recovers fast. Obviously, he has the capacity to recover very quickly. Very clean offense from defense by the Giants. You get the sense that they know no other way how to fight. They are going at it back and forth, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, punch for punch. Lands the counter. What a good counter punch by Big. Fine fundamentals, good counter punch. Nice mousetrap, they let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. The end of the round has arrived. And now an opportunity for the trainer here to get his hands on his guy. His guy just got tagged pretty good there. And when he looks into his eyes, what is he looking for? Well, first of all, he's looking to see whether or not his guy is still there. You know, he got stunned pretty good. And then what he has to do is make sure his guy is listening to him and telling him, hey, look, you got caught, you've been caught before, this is the way we can fix it. This is what you got to do to correct things. Good-looking counterpunch. Good job protecting himself. Blocks the headshot. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Very clever move there. A little defense turns into offense. The counter punch by Big. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. Joe, it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Good block by the Giant.
A headshot blocked. <clears throat> End of the round here. And as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was. And, you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Parries that punch away. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. And you see, he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counter punch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay, and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. Halfway through this round, gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. <laughs> Able to counter that attack. by Big. <laughs> Coming towards the end of the seventh round, ten seconds to go. been a hotly contested war throughout and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Locks that punch. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Big. Great movement to get away from those punches. to go halfway through round eight 
Teddy, this is one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say, tune in. Everybody should be watching this, right? I have a cell phone. I might do that right now. <laughs> Start dialing. Well-targeted counterpunch by the Giant. There's another left hand from him. Keep working the bus. Sharp counter punch by Big. Shot with the block. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is. If I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue or red corner what he did early. Because sometimes the judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. Good job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counterpunch by Big. It's hard to believe that he can win this fight on the scorecard. That means it's do or die at this point. You got to go for broke. Yeah, that means that you got to come up with that Hail Mary pass. Now, when you come up with that Hail Mary pass, you don't just chuck the ball. You have to have a receiver down there. You have to make sure that he's running a certain route. Right now, he's got to look for one spot, something to land that shot. Good counter punch. head well with his guard. Halfway through this round here. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. <laughs> this is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth non-stop. Well, Joe, with special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot. And then comes back with an uppercut. They start up again. Back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. On the mark, the counterpunch by Big. Protect. 
by the Giant. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. away from those headshots with his defense up top. Gets rid of that body shot. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Jump protecting himself. Neither man slowing down as we have 60 seconds to go in this round. game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Ten seconds remaining in this round. What a good war this has been. What a good, good, solid fight it's been. The kind of fight that tells me somebody wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Oh! He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Scoring counter punch by the Giant. Oh, and look at this, Teddy, wasting no time getting to know each other. No, they came right to the center ring, said hello. Showing you some defense there with the block. Throws a counter punch there. Wow, is he defensively sound. Great fight. I mean, just a great fight. Both guys giving their all back and forth. It doesn't get much better. Ninety seconds to go here in this round.
Good block. Great movement to get away from those punches. Targeted counter punch by Big. Here we are, the start of a new round, but it's the action that was put forth in a damaging way in the last round that's carrying over the storyline here. He's in prime position to end this fight now. He is, and I think that right now his opponent is probably thinking about another line of work. So if he jumps on him, maybe he removes this guy. Gets rid of that body shot. <laughs> nice block by Big. See, he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counterpunch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay, and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. He got rocked earlier in this fight. I don't see him changing much up, Teddy. Would you be advising him that now is time for an adjustment? Well, you have to have a plan B, maybe even a plan C when you come into it. Maybe he doesn't have one. Now, if he doesn't have one, you're not going to tell him to start changing up because then you're basically saying, I don't know what to do, but, <laughs> you know, we're in trouble. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Good counter punch. One to give one, he comes back with a right hand. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. <laughs> Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Well, that wraps it up. Now, let's send it up to our ring Ladies announcer for the decision. We go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score the fight. A unanimous decision. Your winner, the Giants. He's your winner by a unanimous decision. And that was a surprise right there. Coming into this fight, we thought we'd see maybe a knockout. But no, we wound up getting a strategic fight. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.